dad and what he went through. My parents were childhood sweethearts. They started dating when they were 14. They got married when they were both 18. Then soon after that, they had me, followed by my sisters Iona and Tabitha. On paper, my parents were the perfect couple. They had a beautiful family and they loved each other very much. The problem was that behind closed doors, the stresses of life were beginning to get to them. Mom got a promotion at work. The pay was good, but they called her up at all hours. Mom was overworked, tired, and grumpy. Even little things would make her snap. I remember once when Tabitha refused to eat her spag bowl because it had onions in it, so Mom threw the plate at the wall. It smashed into hundreds of tiny pieces, and bits of pasta, meat, and sauce went everywhere. Mom was moody with Dad, too. He bought her a bunch of yellow roses to cheer her up, and she told him that she hated yellow, then stuffed them in the trash. She was constantly putting him down, telling him that he didn't have a proper job and that she was the only one who provided for this family. Dad told us that Mom was under a lot of pressure with work and that she didn't mean to be grumpy. The years went by and Mom's temper grew worse. Every night she would drink wine, which made her extra angry. I'd stay in my room and play music to try and block out the sounds of Mom shouting at Dad. Mom didn't just stop at shouting. She liked to throw things around, too. I remember walking into the kitchen with bare feet and stepping on a piece of glass because Mom had smashed a vase. Dad put a band-aid on my foot and told me that the vase had been dropped by accident. Looking back on it now, he always covered for Mom. Next, the bruises started. I noticed them on my dad's arm. Iona asked him how he got them, and he told her that he was a clumsy idiot who'd walk into the door. It didn't stop at bruises. Sometimes he'd have scratches, gashes, and a few times he had a black eye. Dad would always come up with an excuse such as, he fell over, or he walked into a wall. My dad was clumsy, but he wasn't that clumsy. I knew that mom had done it, but back then, I was too young to fully understand what this meant. After mom hurt dad, she went into remorseful mode and was over nice to us all for the next few days. She would always relapse, especially when a drink was involved. When I was 12, mom planned a night out with her friends. Before she left, she gave us a twirl in her shiny green dress, and Dad told her that she looked beautiful. She was in a great mood when she went out, but this changed when she returned. I could hear her shouting at Dad and accusing him of having an affair. I walked into their room to see what was going on and saw Mom punching Dad in the stomach. He begged her to stop, but he didn't restrain her. I stood there speechless. I didn't know what to do. Dad saw me and told Mom that I was there. She immediately stopped punching him and turned and smiled at me. The next day, Mom told me that Dad had made her angry, but that she shouldn't have shouted at him. There was no mention of the fact she'd punched him. This carried on for the next year. Dad would put on this front to the world that he was okay, but inside, I knew he was breaking. One day, my school club was canceled, so I came home early and found Dad in his office crying. He had a fresh black eye. My dad never cried, so I knew that something big was up. At first, he tried to act like he was fine. I told him that I knew that mom was hurting him and that he shouldn't have to put up with it anymore. He hugged me and told me that I shouldn't have to deal with this. It was his problem to sort out. The next time I heard mom shouting at dad, I didn't hide away in my room. Instead, I came downstairs to find her throwing ornaments at him. I dived in front of dad and one of the ornaments hit me in the face. There was blood everywhere and mom was instantly apologetic. She made out like it had been an accident. She wouldn't accept the fact that she was in the wrong. I think it was me being hurt that gave Dad the push he needed to do something about his life. I know that he had loved Mom very much, but she'd broken his trust and his heart, and now he didn't love her anymore. A month later, he left her. She cried and begged him to stay. Then she got angry and accused him of being a terrible father who was walking out on his kids. I now live with my dad, and I'm helping him to rebuild his life. My dad's having counseling to deal with the years of abuse he suffered. He started dating a woman called Melanie, and he seems much happier. Mom still drinks too much and has a horrible temper. She's never purposely hurt me or my sisters, but she needs to get professional help, which she refuses to do. Dad's trying to get full custody of my sisters as he doesn't think they're safe with Mom. I'm proud of my dad. He's been through a lot, but he always remains strong, kind, and optimistic. I love my mom. I just hate what she did. I know that underneath all this anger, she's a good person. I hope that one day she gets help, as I'd like my amazing mom back. Thanks for listening to my story. We grow up believing that adults are always right, but the truth is that they're just as confused as we are. 
We all make mistakes and we all mess up. It's accepting these mistakes that's the hard part. For now, I know that my dad needs my support because he's still got a long way to go to recover from everything he's been through.